When I pulled the trigger on Dominic Pirelli, I knew exactly what I was doing. It was a business decision, and even if part of me hated to have to kill him, you, you and I both know you got to do what you got to do to survive. And then Olivia comes through the door. She's screaming, he's your son. I haven't been thinking clearly since then. I want my son to love me. And every time I, we're taking steps forward, he, you know, it goes right back to that afternoon when he looked me in the eye and he told me all the reasons why he despises me. Well, Dante's a cop. I don't think he'll ever be able to trust you. Should I give up on him? Well, that would be the smart business decision. What if you gave Michael a reason to hate you, a good reason? Could you give up on him? No, never. Well, I feel the same way. I mean, Michael could steal from me, lie to me, shoot me in the freaking chest. I, I could never stop loving him. And I, but I can't see giving his brothers and sister anything less. You can't. Thank God Michael's out of prison. And you know what the hardest part for me right now is? Having to lie to the people that I love. But the way I see it is at least, at least Christina is away from Johnny. I see that as a win. Right. Right? Yep, you know the cops are gonna investigate you for Johnny's. They've already been here. Lucky first, and then Claire Walsh came to apologize for, you know, accusing me of the car bomb. It's pretty friendly of her, don't you think? Uh, Claire Walsh is not our friend. Uh, yeah, well, I know you, th you think she's playing me, and I know she is, so, but the thing is, I'm playing her. I kind of like her, aside from the fact that, you know, she wants to send me to prison for the rest of my life. You know the best way to prevent that from happening? Not saying anything to Claire unless Diane's around. <laughs> no. Right, that's the way. No, 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 that's your style. See, my style is this way. Well, I sleep with her. Oh. No, no, wait, 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 wait. She's compromised. All right? And I know you want me to be careful and all that, but I'm yeah. telling you I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, you, I just came by to check on you, and no, this okay. is the time for me probably to go. <laughs> well, I uh, appreciate you coming by and uh, believing in me. I respect you more than anyone I've ever known. And that's not going to change. Jason, do me a favor. Get rid of Franco, because it's a distraction nobody needs. I'm working on that. Did you guys find anything? A daunting assortment of addresses in the Greater Port Charles area are numbered 66. Yeah, and so far none of them are connected to Franco, so we widened the search to County Road 66. County Road, did you check the rental records for the last three months? Yeah, it's already underway. Uh, a mansion formerly owned by the Lachland family is now being leased to a Karen Anderson. That's Franco's mother. What's the address? You 
Captain Franco? Well, come on, folks. We all want the same thing here, right? Franco locked up. Well, for that to happen, we're going to have to trust each other just, just a little. Okay, I'll share first. Franco approached Jax in the park. Jax had Jocelyn with him. Is Jocelyn okay? Yeah, they're both okay. Franco's playing nice right now, but we don't know how long that's gonna last, right? So you guys wanna tell me what you got? Okay. An abandoned mansion. Out on County Road 66, leased in the name of... Karen Anderson? That's right. That's quick work. Spinelli's really good at what he does. Gracious things. Well, some people might want to drag this out, you know? I mean, the, the longer we look for Franco, the, the longer Jason stays free. Wow, that really never occurred to any of us. I'm going to call this in. No, 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 no. Franco's going to see you coming from a mile away. All right, well, then what do you want to do? He's waiting for me. I should just go along. Well, I said, you know, we should trust each other a little bit, so you won't be offended if I tag along. Okay, we'll be back. Dante's a bit overconfident. What do you mean by that? Well, his actions put young Michael and Stone Cold in prison. That's a heavy karmic burden. As they say in the vernacular, karma's a bitch. You want to kill Franco with a pen? Be my guest. <laughs> 